Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're all having a great day so far. Today, guys, we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, we are actually going to be doing a speed build of the NASA Apollo Saturn V, one of the most recent LEGO idea sets that just recently hit the market, guys. I 100% recommend you guys pick this up if you have the chance to. I know it is hard to find, but I definitely recommend picking this up when you guys can. So we haven't done speed builds on this channel before, but I figured I'm going to build it anyway, so I might as well. Hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Again, 1,969 pieces, so this is definitely on the bigger sides uh, of pieces or a piece count, so I don't know how this exactly is going to go. I hope it's going to be a fun build. It should be a fun build, and I'm going to bring you guys along with me. So I hope you guys definitely enjoy, and let's get on in. So guys, upon opening the box, we do have this awesome Saturn V manual, which is really cool. Really detailed, definitely good collector's item. May even sell this to you guys or give it away. Uh, we do have bags numbered 1 through 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, 12. 12 bags total, so definitely a lot of bags, uh, but not other, kind of like a UCS set. So guys, upon opening the manual, we do have some pretty awesome graphics and information and illustrations uh, to go along with the build. We do have some information about the Apollo program, who founded it and who initiated it and stuff like that, when it was founded, all that good stuff. We do have some information and pictures about the actual um, Saturn V that was actually in real life. We do have some graphics about how the actual module separates and all that stuff. Again, some more information about the Saturn V and some actually creations about it. And we have a little bit about the docking and the transportation uh, of the actual module. On the other page, we do have a timeline of some early um, stages and stuff like that of uh, important events in NASA's time history uh, regarding space travel. And then we also have a chance to meet the designers and all that stuff um, and those people who created the actual design. So guys, as this plays in the background right now, I want to let you guys know that this is not just going to be a speed build where it's just literally me building and music. I will be cutting in every now and then to give you guys a little bit of an update, I guess, after every bag pretty much. So again, after every bag and after every build, um, you can expect me to come in, jump in, and talk to you guys a little bit about what's going on, the progress we've been making. Uh, also, I will be cutting this down a little bit into chunklets because the editing software that I use, if I try to make a, a smaller time lapse, um, it's just not going to be uh, short enough to make into an entire video. As you guys can already tell, this video is pretty long. So again, I will be jumping in. So definitely stick around. It's not going to be just boring. Um, so again, just kind of enjoy it and let me know what you guys think. Definitely leave a like if you guys want to see more speed builds in the future. That's all we got. And uh, let's just get on into it. So guys, after we complete the uh, first bag here, we do see the early stages of this kind of stuff. Uh, we pretty much see the interior uh, of the Saturn V and what's going to kind of be the uh, infrastructure and the foundation for the stuff. It looks pretty detailed, I'm not going to lie, especially for being something that you're not going to eventually see. But it is very well built, very cool designs with the uh, red 2x2, two two, so let's continue. So guys, we just wrapped up bag two and we did a lot of stuff for the out uh, or exterior of the two modules. We connected them first of all, and then we added these little um, panels on either side. I think this is going to be where the rocket boosters are going to go and where like the fins and stuff like that is going to be eventually. Uh, but other than that, looking pretty good. And uh, we are actually going to continue.
So guys, we just finished up the last bag. Again, we just kind of added some more detail onto the top of the module, which is left pretty naked um, from the second bag. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. We do have these sleek uh, slopes that are pretty much surrounding the entire thing, and I think it's coming together quite well. Looking really nice so far. I really like the details and all that stuff, and uh, we're going to continue on. Guys, I do want to apologize for some reason the camera wasn't recording for this bag, but as you guys can see, we pretty much did the exact same thing. We just added some more, um, pretty much, pretty much, if you can follow my thumb right here, everywhere that my thumb goes across is pretty much what we added in the bag. Again, adding some more detail, and actually more importantly, we connected these two modules more um, safely and more sturdily. So this is not pretty much, this is really not going to fall at all, or it's not really going to break at all. But we are actually going to jump onto the next bag, which is going to be number uh, five, and we're going to continue, and I'll be back shortly. So guys, we just finished up bag number five, and you guys can see here, we did a lot of stuff pretty much with the lower half, right above the USA symbols. Uh, we actually added a lot of vents, or what looks like to be vents, this is actually really cool. Um, so that's pretty much it for that bag. We're going to be doing bag number six, and we'll, let's get in. So guys, we just finished up bag number six, and you guys can tell that this was actually a lot to do with the rocket boosters and the engines down below. Looking really, really cool. Looking really super dope. And I think there's still a little bit more to do, uh, so let's just jump right on. So guys, we just completed the entire bag, and you guys can see here the engines and the rocket boosters on the bottom are pretty much coming full circle. This thing's looking pretty beast, not gonna lie, the detail is amazing, and I'm really, really um, surprised and really, really happy with the build so far. It's been a pretty, pretty easy build, um, so without further ado, let's jump right on into the next bag. So guys, we just wrapped up with that bag, and we actually started the second half, or at least the second third, I guess you could say, of the rocket. You see, this piece is actually going to be the piece that I'm going to point to right now. So that little space over there, this is the infrastructure and the foundation, like in the similar bags to number one. Next, we are going to grab number eight, and we're going to add the detail outside, and let's jump right in.
So guys, we just finished up with that bag, and as you guys can see, we added some pretty cool detail to the outside. I, I want to let you guys know that these stickers, the United States stickers in the USA, is all printed. It's not actually stickers. Um, so it's all printed on the piece, so it's all like perfect, asymmetrical, so you don't have to worry if you're bad with stickers like me. But next, we're going to jump onto the bag 9, and we're going to keep rolling, and hopefully finish this soon. Guys, from this point on in the video, I'm actually just going to give updates um, at the end of every uh, bag, because my memory is running pretty low, and I think you guys can get the idea of pretty much a lot of the same building. Um, so this bag, we created the outside and the exterior and the slopes um, to that second module. Now we're going to reach onto the bag 10. It looks like we're going to be connecting the two, and uh, I'll see you guys after we build. So guys, we just finished up bag 10, and you guys can see here we did connect the two, and we added rocket boosters to the top um, into that second module and connected the two. Pretty easy connection, and it is looking huge, and we're not even, I don't even think we're, I think we're probably about two-thirds done, actually, now that I think about it, but this thing is actually really big. We pretty much got to about there, and we still have, I'd say, at least another third left, so you can guys can kind of imagine how big this is going to be. And now that I'm thinking about it, it's probably going to go up to probably about here, which is really big. I don't even know where we're going to put it, first of all. The build is pretty easy, going by pretty quick, so we're going to mow through it. So guys, we just finished up bag 11. You guys can see here we did add that third module up top, which is really, really cool. Um, pretty easy bag, not gonna lie, probably one of the easier bags in the entire build. But you guys can see here how big this thing is really getting. And I uh, really don't know where I'm gonna put it, like I said before. But it is really tall, it's looking really, really sick, not gonna lie. And for the money, I'm really happy that this is turning out the way it is. So now we have that little cone at the end to finish, and the stand, so let's jump right on in, hopefully after this point. So guys, at the end of the build, we did finally complete it. You guys can expect a full showcase um, of this in another video, probably coming out tomorrow or the following day. This was an exciting build. I hope you guys like the speed build. Let me know down below. That's all we got for today, guys. Have a good one. Keep on smiling. Catch you later. See you in the next video. Peace.